What's up, nerds? So uh, Rachel Zegler is the talk of the town right now. You know, you know, uh, entertainment news is really slow right now. So Rachel Zegler, she's getting a little, but, but she deserves it. She keeps opening her mouth or whatnot, or she did, because those interviews that she did for Snow White were were filmed a, while, a little while ago, but they needed to save all that up and stuff. Uh, that D23 stuff where she said the prince was, I did a video all on all of it. You can check it out. Was that D23, I believe, last year? But yeah, listen, you said it, own it. Uh, but this, I found this article, and this one's a little bit older. I was going to do this last week, but I just, you know, ran out of time or what, or this past week. Uh, yeah, uh, but I ran out of time and everything. But I wanted to talk about it now. Don't worry, I have another Rachel Zegler video coming out uh, soon. Uh, but so this one says, Paddington 3 continues filming without Rachel Zegler. Now, I just want to say right now, I don't think that this is because... <clears throat> Because she is getting fired, I think it's just because of the strikes, and it says it in this in this report or in this uh, article. But let's go ahead and read this. This is from Digital Spy. It says the production has been hit by the Hollywood strikes. Paddington Three is continuing to film without Rachel Zegler amid the Hollywood strikes. The West Side Story star was confirmed as part of the sequel known as Paddington in Peru back in June. I just want to say real quick before I continue with the rest of this, as far as the Paddington movies go. I love the Paddington movies. They're so good. I loved that first one. It was so charming and lovely. And then the second one, I liked it. I thought I thought it was really good. It was very Wes Anderson, you know, with all the pink and the, the colors and everything. But I still like his, uh, what was that hotel movie that he did? Um, oh, don't get mad at me either because I don't remember the name. Uh, 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 Grand uh, Budapest Hotel. I And I like that movie too. But a very Wes Anderson, that second movie. But I love both of them. The Paddington movies are so charming. You Brits, I tell you right now, some you guys just with your stuff just grabs my heart and just, just makes me go, oh my gosh, that is so stinking cute and everything. When I mean, you're with your teddy bears. Anyways, all right. So it says, however, with Hollywood actors, Union, SAG, and uh, AFTRA currently on strike, Screen Daily reports that the movie is continuing production in the UK without her. And the UK, um, depending on the actors, some actors in the UK, they are not part of SAG. So therefore, they can still do stuff. For instance, House of the Dragon is still filming right now because a lot of their actors are not in SAG. So they're not on strike. So they can still continue, which I'm happy because I want to see House of the Dragon so bad. Uh, but let's read the rest of this. So it says the third Paddington movie, which will see uh, Dougal Wilson take over the dire as director, will include the returns of stars Ben Washaw, love him, Amelda Stanton, love her, Hugh ben Bonneville, Julie Walters, Jim Brobent, uh, Meldine Harris, and Samuel Jocelyn. I shouldn't have read all those actors. It doesn't matter. Okay, so it says Sal Sally uh, Hawkins is stepping away from her role as Miss Brown, placing, uh, replaced by Mary Poppins Return star Emily Mortimer, while other new cast additions alongside Ziegler include Oscar winner Olivia Coleman, love Olivia Coleman, and Puss in Boots star Antonio Banderas. Love Antonio Banderas. He's so hot. Anyways. Addressing her decision to step away, Hawkins previously said, for me, it has felt the right time to hand the reins over to another and one can't get too, uh, get much better than truly wonderful Emily Mortimer. Mortimer. She is extraordinarily special. And then it says, she will embody the essence of Miss uh, Mary Brown and yet make it utterly her own. However, I am and will always be in love with Paddington's world. I already genuinely miss my uh, my on and off screen family and experience of uh, da 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 da, who cares? Paddington in Peru will see the titular bear return to his birthplace in Peru with the Brown family in order to visit his Aunt Lucy with a big adventure set to ensue. And there is no current release date. Uh, that's because they haven't filmed yet. So... So let's talk about this just a tiny bit, and then I'll let you guys go. So Rachel Zegler, she has in, been embroiled in a lot of controversy right now with her Snow White comments. And I think that this just adds to, you know, the fact that she's just, you know, an idiot. But I think that with Rachel Zegler, what's happening with her comments is, A, they were filmed a while ago. And they they did a, she did a, an, an apology video, which I'll do that in another video after this, but so she she said all these comments and they're all coming out now because they're releasing all this stuff to try to hype up Snow White, which will come out uh, 2024. 
And I just have to say, listen, she said it, she's got to own it. But I think that before she was on Instagram with a lot of theater people and I followed her on, uh, follow her on Instagram. And I always thought she was charming. I liked her a lot because again, she was a theater person and I love the theater and everything, but she was stuck in her little, you know, bubble, you know, her little echo chamber where she would say something and all the people would just agree with her. Oh, you're so smart. You know what you're talking about. And it's like, not really. You're like 19 and stupid because, you know, younger people, they don't know what the hell they're talking about. They, they haven't lived life. They're just all like, woo, and yeah and everything and you're all like yeah why don't you get a job pay a mortgage see how that works out um so she of course has been sitting here and she just says some really dumb stuff and i think it's because she doesn't have experience in you know you know how to engage with the public because you know like i said before she's always been stuck online with this with this echo chamber so now as far as them with paddington three so paddington three is filming and of course, they can't film without her because she's on strike. And remember, she said that if she's going to stand there for 14 hours in an iconic prin Disney princess dress, she deserves to get paid for every hour that that is streamed online. And I just go, replace her. You know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, they, if they haven't filmed anything with her, it's an easy fix. Replace her with a British actress, uh, you know, that's Peruvian or whatever. I don't know if she's Peruvian, though. I don't know if Rachel Zegler. I mean, she's obviously his, uh, Hispanic, but I don't think she's Peruvian. So if, you, if you're if you looking for a Hispanic actress, you know, I'm pretty sure there's a British, pr British Hispanic actress that you can go with. So I don't feel bad for her. I don't. I don't feel bad for any of these Hollywood people. If you step in it, you step in it. And that's your problem. Uh, I don't have to pay for your stuff. And nobody's going to see Snow White. I will see Paddington 3, though. It's, it's Those movies are so charming. Even if you're, even if Rachel Zegler's in it, I'll still see it. We have to be honest with ourselves. And that's my, that's my truth. Uh, but yeah, so this is just a, a small story, but I just wanted to talk about it a little bit, you know. Plus, I need the content. Entertainment news is slow. I'll tell you what. All right, you guys, but tell me what you guys think about this. Do you feel bad for Rachel Zegler that she's they're going to start they're going to be filming without her for a little while and do you think they should just replace her so they can get a move on with this with this movie? Um I think they should just replace her. It's it's a, that's an easy fix for the studio and then just hire a British actress that's not in SAG and then, you know, you know, all set and done. And then, you know, you can get started on the digital Paddington. He's so stinking cute and everything. All right, but tell me what you guys think. Uh, if you like what I do here and you enjoy any kind of content here on YouTube, please consider subscribing to my channel. YouTube is always changing up their algorithm and small channels like mine. We just keep getting shoved to the back of the line. And as always, go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below. If you like this video, go and hit that like button. You know, I won't mind. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys on my next video. You guys have a good day. Bye.